ආයිබෝන් හැමෝටම ඔන්න අදමම් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ ඕගොල්ලොත් එක්ක ඇමරිකාවේ පිහිටි තවත් විශ්ව විද්‍යාලයක් පිළිබඳව අත්දැකීම් ඔයගොල්ලොත් එක්ක බෙදා ගන්න. මේ විශ්ව විද්‍යාලය හඳුන්වන්නේ University of Rochester කියලා. University of Rochester පිළිලා තියෙන්නේ New York ප්‍රාන්තයේ ඉහළට වෙන්න. ඒ වගේම මේ මෙම විශ්ව විද්‍යාලයේ වර්ෂයකට සිසුන් 12000කට අධික ප්‍රමාණයක් විවිධ පාඨමාලා සඳහා ලියා පදිංචි වෙනවා. ඒ වගේම රොචෙස්ටර් විශ්ව විද්‍යාලය විසින් පාඨමාලා 200කට අධික ප්‍රමාණයක සේවා සපයනවා. ඒ වගේම මෙම විශ්ව විද්‍යාලයේ ග්‍රැජුවේෂන් රේට් එක 187ක් පමණ වෙනවා. ඇක්සෙප්ටන්ට් රේට් එක 141ක් පමණ වෙනවා. බස් 2 එක පටන් ගන්න කලින් ඒගොල්ලෝ අපට විශ්ව විද්‍යාලයේ පිළිබඳ යම් කිසි අවබෝධයක් ලබා දුන්නා. බලන්නකෝ එයා මොකද කියන්නේ කියලා. Thank you. 
මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය හඳුන්වන තවත් නමක් තමයි රිවර් කැම්පස්. ඒකට ප්‍රධානම හේතුව මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාල වට කරගෙන ගලන්නේ ජෙනිසි ගංගාව. හරියට මට නම් තේරුණේ පේරාදෙණිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයට ආව වගේ. Also Maryland. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a little bit shorter, but still just a bit of orientation. We are currently on the river campus, so named because we have the Genesee River on the right side, which we'll be able to see a little bit later on the tour. But right here where we're starting is the Simon School of Business. We have two master schools on the this campus. One of them is the Simon School of Business. The other one, oh sorry, there was a bug near me. Um The other one is the Warner School of Education, which we'll pass by later. Um, and I mentioned the rivers on three sides. On our fourth side, we have Mount Hope Cemetery. So we like to say our neighbors are kind of quiet. We have three campuses. One is the Eastman School of Music campus. Then we have our Med School campus, which is like over there is our engineering quad. A five-minute walk from that engineering quad, you hit the Med School campus. So it's super super close by which is why a lot of students like to go over to the med uh, school campus to take some classes and to also get involved in research over there. George Eastman was a really big influential person in Rochester. He was the founder of Kodak. Um and he donated a lot of money to this school, but his one stipulation was that we didn't name any of our buildings after him. So instead, we named the grass after him. So this is Eastman Quad. <laughs> We also have another online resource that I love to talk about which is our Meliora Collective which is about 10,000 alums who have donated their time to come and talk to University of Rochester students, give them advice about careers, pathways, academics, things like that. Uh, eventually there will be. Okay, yeah. But I'm going to always Very fair. You said your physics class, your intro physics class. How big was that? Like how many students? Oh, my gosh. Lecture classes. Yeah, I am actually going to do a whole spiel on lectures a little later, so I will talk about that in a bit. But we are currently standing in front of Brush Breeze. This is our main library on campus. We are going to head inside, but some fun things to point out. Students can actually sit up on that ledge out there to overlook the campus in the warmer weather. Out these doors is that they are labeled the past, the present, and the future. So we can head on through the doors of the future. I like to do a little spiel about research here, so I'm going to get started into that. Uh, research is a really big thing here. We're a tier one research institution with full time faculty, which means all of our faculty are doing research all of the time. So we have research in literally anything you can imagine, from the humanities to the social sciences, and of course in the STEM field. Um, a lot of that research happens on campus. We have everything from archival research to research into languages to research over at the medical center, as well as if you like lasers, we have a laser energetics lab, which is a bunch of different things that are involved in everything from like medicine to nuclear energy, which is super super cool. Um, with that, this is cool. one of our collaborative library spaces. Of course, it is not very loud right now because it is the summertime, so a lot of the students aren't here, but it is a really popular space, especially these booths lining the walls. You basically have to get here when the library opens to snag one of those booths because they are so, so popular. Um, a couple notes about this area here. This bookshelf um, actually has any books that you would check out online from any of our libraries, including our medical campus library, so uh, the books are just brought right here for you to easily check out. The books is your thing. That is something that we definitely have. I definitely recommend it. I really like the third floor study spaces in this library. They're super, super cool. Um, there is a fun rumor that if all of the books in this library were to be checked out, the library would come crumbling down. But I will say we have nearly 3 million books in this library. Well, 
have a tunnel system here. This is an entrance to it um, that runs underneath that academic quad that we were on and connects to both the library, all of those academic quad buildings, as well as our student life building and the dining hall space. Um, the tunnels are cooled in the summer and heated in the winter time. And also down that way, we have our art and music library if you want to check it out later. We have uh, student art that's presented there and the installations switch out a couple times per semester. It's a really cool library space as well. They have lots of puzzles and movies and things like that. Sessions, let's see, this library space has an aqua twist to it. Additionally, we have the Rochester City buses come through here. That's about 25 cents per ride and will take you literally anywhere in the city that you want to go. So really great resource as well. Safety because we just passed one of our blue lights. I'm sure if you've been on a campus tour before, or if you go on one in the future, you will see these blue lights. Um, these uh, run all throughout campus, under our tunnel system, in our tunnel system, and on our bridge across the river. Um, these uh, blue lights are about 10 feet apart, so you can see the next one while you're standing at one. Um, and they have a little blue box on them. In that little blue box, there is a phone. That phone connects you directly to public safety and they will know exactly where you are. Then we can talk about health because we are currently walking right next to our University Health Services building. If you are ever feeling sick or you get injured, you can come in here and you will be assigned a primary care physician who will see you and treat you for whatever is ailing you. We also have our University Counseling Services in this building who can do online or in-person appointments and also connect you to resources in the community if that is what you need. If you ever get seriously injured, we also have Strong Memorial Hospital very, very close by. So that is another great thing that we have. Heading towards one of the freshman dorm buildings so we can see a model dorm room. A bit about living on campus as a freshman. Um, you will be living with three upperclassmen in your hall. The first person is your RA. They are there to help you with any building life questions or concerns. Your armoires, sorry. That would be the standard size of a double. For a little um, perspective, my dorm was more of a rectangle than a square and I was able to do like three cartwheels down my dorm room um, just because of how big it was. Um, but yeah, this is the standard size. This whole room is the standard size of about a triple. But yeah, the double would have that wall behind it. Engineering quad. And the fourth one is our Starbucks Cafe in our student lab, student life building. Sorry. Um, for meal plans, we have two types of meal plans. The first one is called the swipe meal plan. That is what you would traditionally think of for a college meal plan. You have your ID card and you swipe it and that gets you into the dining hall. Um, the other one is called declining. It's basically like a debit card and it's called declining as semester goes on, you watch the balance decline, the money does roll over. They tend to stay around those uh, junior senior dorms which are across the river, um, renting either like four person to seven person houses. So one of my friends does live off campus, they're about a five minute walk from the dorm that I had last year, so super super close to campus. With this because we have our um, field right out here, we have everything from softball fields Tennis court, outdoor tennis courts and basketball courts to our baseball soccer fields, uh, football fields, and our outdoor track. Douglas Commons that hosts our second all-you-can-eat dining hall as well as a ballroom that has a lot of big events such as meet and greets with some of our clubs, um, research expos, and um, uh, recruitment events. And above that we have our intercultural center which hosts identity-based social events as well as our conversation hours. So if 
you speak another language or you take another language here on campus, you can go into those conversation hours and they will only speak to you in that language. So you get really, really good at those languages. Behind me we have one of, we have the clock tower and um, a lot of universities do have superstitions surrounding them. Ours surrounds this clock tower. It is said that if you are a current student and you walk underneath the clock tower, you will not graduate in four years. If you are a prospective student and you walk underneath, you will not get accepted into the university. And if you are a parent and you walk underneath it, you will not get financial aid. So everyone stays pretty far away from the clock tower. Um, but not graduating, speaking of not graduating in four years, um, we have two programs in addition to those master, accelerated master programs. The first one is our Take 5, where if you are on campus and you realize, hey, I didn't get to take classes in this area of interest that I have, you can come back for a fifth year tuition free and take classes in that interest area. Very, very cool. Um, so, moving from over there to the quad here, this is called Wilson Quad because it is next to Wilson Commons. These two front buildings that you see here are our upperclassmen corridor style living. We're right behind them. We have that freshman quad that I mentioned before. Wilson uh, Quad is our main social quad. We have fun events here, such as our activities for the education semesters, for our student performing groups, like our dance groups and our uh, music groups will perform. Each club gets a booth and they buy for attention of the incoming students to get a bunch of students to join their clubs and sign up for their mailing list. Um, we also have two festivals per semester where they basically turn, thank you, this quad into a carnival filled with rides and games and food trucks with the biggest celebration being our dandelion day at the end of our spring semester uh, which ends in a concert which is super super fun. We have three theater groups here on campus so quite a lot of theater. We also have five acapella groups. So if you're into acapella, that is definitely something that we have and something very, very fun to go and see. Any questions about student life, uh, Greek life, and student mailing? Um, those are my three big, big reasons for choosing here. I really like the environment, I love our classes, and I love our professors and their dedication to all of their students. Inside, we have water, tea, coffee, bathrooms, as well as admissions officers. If you want to talk to them and find out a little more information about all the programs and applications that we have, but with that, thank you guys so much for coming on tour with me. I'll be hanging out for a little bit if you have any questions for me personally. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Vistuti Vantenu Lindita Rochester Vishavidale Pilipandava Savistarat Maga Karunu Apaveti Dripat Kirim Pilipandava. In his amount, Tabadurta Vishavidale Pilipanda Karnu Vete Dripat Kand Balapur to win ne by Matetra bin the Mehme the Agano Batakaran. Loke Kotanekuna, Yapa deak Sidunan, Apia Yapa Tidita Baragan, Sudanam Mendoni. Apata Berry, Lanka Vishavidia Pata Tula, Mevan Akari, Salasma Kriatma Kran, Unthin Vishavidia Pemina, Sisudarwan Venuin, Aunt Manasaka Pedania, who was sorry to Kapaustavak at the Nokar, A Venuing A Apata Berry, Own Sadarin Piligana. Lankawe Vishavidya Lavalta Aidunkarna Kriya Pati Party America Ve Kriya Pati Party M Novena Pulva Namut Vishavidya Varam Labana Darwanta Hakinam Own Aidum Karanda Balapruton Vishavidya Aidum Kirimat Pratamagos Vishavidya Pilimada Yadjanika to Pilimada Yamkis Yavo de Aklabaganda Manghitna Ego Ownta Vati Kino Mean Naraban Obagim Mangi Aya Chanakarani, E. Pilipandavat, Obe Avadane Yomukaran, Obet Magit Aramuna Vyute, Pavatina Samaje, Saha Apavata, Pavatina Padisare, Vada Tihapat Matamakatoswa Tabima, E. Sandaha, Vivichina Willing Pamanak Nosehi, Obata Kalehaki Yama Kirimat Hakina, E. Sandaha Mayavastava Karagana.